What was that? That sounded like more a moan than a scream, but yeah. Only presenting a few other people are left in my assembly hall. Including Mayori and me, less than half the audience remains. Everyone looks at each other anxiously and startled by a scream. It's not me. Even I can't suppress a shiver. First explosion on the roof. Now this. What's going on here? Me always squeezing my hand tight. Mayuri, here I take a deep breath, prepare myself, and head into the direction of a scream. The echoes lead me down a dark, empty hallway on the same floor. I'm pretty sure it came from around that corner. I crouch down and turn the corner slowly, keeping my eyes and ears peeled for any sign of danger. And there, at the end of the passage, I see it. There's something on the ground. No. Someone. Motionless. Who is it? The clothes are familiar. It can't be. Is that Kurisu? <laughs> Makise Kurisu. Her face has turned away, but I know it's her. The impertinent genius girl I fought with just ten minutes ago. Is now face down in a pool of bright red blood. She's dead. <laughs> Suddenly I realise that I'm shaking. I want to run, run away. I shouldn't have come. This is wrong. Someone killed Makise Kurisu. There's no explanation. Who would do such a thing? There's no one else here. <laughs> Maybe she wasn't with the organisation after all. I twist around in shock. Some of the men followed me. And every one of them is a ghastly pale. They must have seen my body. <laughs> At this, everyone starts screaming and running away. I follow them, of course, so there's absolutely no reason to stay here. Concern for Makase Kurisu is superseded by an instinctive urge to flee. When I get back to assembly hall, Mayori is waiting for me with tears in her eyes. I'll grab her hand and run. I race down the stairs trying to duck, drive the image of Carissa's dead body from my mind. But I can't. Redness of blood is burned into my mind, more than the sight of her body itself. That was my first time seeing a dead body. I hope so too, actually. Is this what it's like? When I realised that she was dead, I felt a chilling terror and a surge of nausea. That was all I felt fear and disgust. Should we be thinking more? I guess it doesn't know her that well. <laughs> I finally stopped wanting to get out of the main street. Shuradori. My chest pounds, my breathing laboured while running down the stairs at full speed. You really don't want to know. Mayori doesn't seem to comprehend the situation. I guess it's because she didn't see the body. She's not even breathing hard. She looks slow, but she's actually pretty fast on her feet.
I take several deep breaths. The colour of that blood still stains my brain. But I've calmed down a bit. Makise Karisu is dead. I don't know who a killer is. Sirens in the distance. I guess an ambulance will be here soon. The police will arrive in this area become a crime scene. But for now, the crowds mi milling through Akihabara have no idea what happened. Everyone's going about business as usual. Of a never ending search of electronics, moe, and porn. Hmm. Can, can, can relate? Just another day in Akihabara. I take my phone out of my pocket, perhaps out of reflex. I'm not sure what I plan on doing with it. Oh, I know. My friend Daru. I'll tell him what happened just now. Since he knows about Makise Kurisu. I suppose it might be disrespectful to a victim. But my adrenaline is pumping. I can't make calm decisions after witnessing something like that first hand. That's how humans are after all. We're not as special as we like to believe. At the end of the day, we're nothing but dirty slime like flesh. Our souls fester like semen left to rot in the womb. Oh, nice. That's how we humans are. While wallowing in a bit of angst, I begin to type on my phone. Trouble. Someone stabbed Makise Kurisu. Looked bad. Hope she's okay. Don't know who. Look bad. Hope she's okay. I don't know if she was stabbed. That just seems like the most logic explanation given the amount of blood in the absence of a gunshot. On the other hand, I didn't write that she was dead. Even though I'm pretty sure she was. Can't exactly explain why I didn't. I had to say, I felt like writing it down would make would set it in stone. It might make me feel guilty as well. The thought brings a smirk to my face. It's not like I'm the one who killed her. Well, why should I feel guilty? Because she left her, maybe. I just saw someone's death up close. Only a few minutes later, I'm smiling. Well, I am a fiendish mad scientist, so it suits me. I finished typing in my place from over send button. And then... I'll press down. Sending. What was that? Wait, look around. Kyoto. They're gone. Summer break. That's a very interesting um sight of a mad scientist standing in the middle of Akihabara Main Street. Noon. The busy street in town. Just now, thousands of pedestrians vanished into thin air. Is this a dream? Am I hallucinating? I don't know. But they're gone. I saw them vanish with my own two eyes. I stand petrified, speechless, and alone in the empty street. Desperate to find someone, anyone. I look up. And there, the top of Vatican. Sticking out from the eighth floor event hall where we just were. Is a crashed satellite.
It must have happened in the intro, intro video. Oi. So, Kono Kisama. Or let us go meet a Yuka. Nazen Nani Mokotainai. Kisamani Kite Irundazo. Monita no Sochigani Ru. Kisamanida. You're talking about me? Okay, this is interesting. Although, we appear to be somewhere else, and there's a guy on our right, or should we say guy? Uh, Calendar saying new pun. A cool clock. I mean, that clock looks cool, actually. I, I wouldn't mind that clock like it myself. The perspective is so very weird. It's almost like a fish out fish on lens. Manukizra was shot there. Tsumara Yatsuda Kisama Karadato. Or that you are Terebi no Monita no Nakani Rioni Mierdarona Daga Soreva, oh, Kina Machigaida. Monita no Nakani Rinova Kisama Nano Dio.貴様が現実だと思っているその世界は実は全て虚構もちろん貴様自身もな真の現実それはこちら側にある。オッケー、ザルーザ。自分が何をしてきされているのかすら分かっていないか。無理もない。まあいい。貴様には分かりやすく。
橋田イタルだスーパーハッカーって呼ぶなよスーパーハッカーだろ上皇そんな我々三人で構成される未来ガジェット研究所の活動内容はそのものズバリ発明である、okay. 詳細は我がラボのホームページを見てくれもちろん闇の支配権力と戦うための未来ガジェットが最優先事項だがその研究から派生する副産物的な発明も多いというか今のところはそっちばかりだすでに我々は8つの未来ガジェットを完成させただがこれはまだ上昇でしかない未来ガジェットのアイディアは俺の中に108まであるのだ108 mentions、okay. 某テニス漫画みたいにですねわかります人の煩悩の数といえこのアットチャンネルのおめそれと俺が話しているのだから口出しをするなと言っているだろう、okay. そもそもオカリンさっきからなんで独り言喋ってんの独り言ではない見てわからないのか俺は今モニターの向こうにいるこいつに話しかけているのだあ今その人ニヤリって笑ったおのれき様何を笑っているのかモニターの中の存在のくせにこっちみんなって言ってやれば通じないんじゃないかな俺たちに話しかけられていることにすら気づいていないらしいな自覚がないというのは実に不幸なことだその人にしてみたらマユシーたちがゲームみたいに見えてるのかなそいつには現実なのかゲームなのかっていう発想さえないんじゃね okay, this is going,、uh, serious matrix ship bullshit on us. んじゃあダルコの大好きな二次元の女の子たちもそうなのそれは別。あの子たちは僕の嫁だから。He's got a point. 誰の嫁の話はどうでもいい。でもさ、マユシの言ったことって興味深いテーマじゃんもし仮に僕たちがゲームの中の住人だとしたら、それを見極めるすべはあると思うないな。即答かよ。故に、そのような議論は不毛。世界の支配構造を打ち砕く方法について考える方がよほど有意義だ。OK。中二病、オツ。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。もう一回、このモニター。Same tune s t o r y with his cute cosplayer, childhood friend, and cool but weird anime fan, otaku, hacker guy. Oh, I'm the dead girl. Can't mention the dead girl enough. She's in the opening credits, so she's sure to come back again. In fact, I know she is. She's pretty much a poster child for this entire game series. But yeah, s t y l e s g a t e Let me know what you think in the comments. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.